Hey everyone, this is Cullah Hale from Destination Thrills, and I am here with my review of Kentucky Flyer down at Kentucky Kingdom in, you guessed it, Louisville, Kentucky. Manufactured by Gravity Group, this is a miniature wooden roller coaster. However, don't let the size of the ride fool you. Kentucky Flyer runs its course with power, taking riders through sudden turns and glorious airtime moments. I was lucky enough to experience this coaster 17 times during the Ace Preservation Conference earlier in May. I was able to get to ride in all the rows to get the full perspective of this coaster. So with that said, let's go over the ride experience. Kentucky Flyer takes you up 47 feet and then descends in a quick drop that throws riders in the back half of the train out of their seats. Next, you hit a short bunny hop that transitions into a quick left turn. This creates a nice lateral snap effect in the middle of a floating airtime hill. You continue ascending upward over a larger airtime moment. This gives you some great floater air. You then hit a couple more hops which aren't as powerful as the first two moments. And then you speed through a turnaround that exits into a sharp drop. This drop coming out of the turnaround has the best airtime moment if you are riding in the back seat. Next, you climb up another hill that descends into a triple down. In my opinion, the triple down is too slow, so you are not flying out of your seat. Surprisingly, this was one of the dead parts of the ride. Finally, you hit two decent sized camelbacks in the finale, each providing a pop of ejector airtime. After this, you land back at the hangar. Kentucky Flyer mainly focuses on airtime. There are some sudden turns thrown in there, but airtime is the name of the game for this ride. So let's take a look at my ratings for Kentucky Flyer. First, intensity. There isn't an element that blows your mind on this ride, but the coaster itself is rapid in nature and has solid airtime. So for that, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Next is my fun rating. This ride has a lot of excitement with it. Now, this coaster is nowhere as thrilling as Storm Chaser or Lightning Run, and I do wish there were some more tight hairpin turns in the layout, but I can't deny that the 12 airtime moments gave me an abundance of joy, so for that, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Next is uniqueness. There are several of these models from Gravity Group out there that focus on real compact airtime filled layouts. However, Kentucky Flyer is a custom design, so I'll give it a 3 for uniqueness. Now let's look at comfort. Kentucky Flyer has very free restraints, so you have a lot of room to move around and absorb sudden twists. The track was also fairly smooth, being a brand new coaster. I was able to ride Kentucky Flyer 17 times without any issues, so I give it a perfect 5 of 5 for comfort. Our next category is Duration. When Kentucky Kingdom announced Kentucky Flyer last year, I was really disappointed by the length of the ride, but after riding it, I was impressed with how many elements Gravity Group was able to squeeze into this tight space. As I arrived at the break run, I was fairly satisfied with the amount of ride time that I had, so I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. Lastly, what is my overall rating? Kentucky Fire is not the headliner of Kentucky Kingdom's coaster collection by any means. For an extreme thrill seeker like me, this isn't a coaster that I would wait an hour to ride or just be begging to get on when I get to Kentucky Kingdom. However, this is the perfect fit for this park, and families will love this attraction. So although for me, Kentucky Flyer is a 3 out of 5 in my rating, for Kentucky Kingdom, this is a 5 out of 5 roller coaster investment that many guests will enjoy. One great feature provided by Kentucky Flyer is that the trains were designed to allow for an aggressive style ride with ejector air and extremely sharp turns, but at the same time accommodate riders of all sizes with its 40 inch height requirement. 
This is 8 inches lower than most roller coasters with this aggression. So, this makes Kentucky Fire a perfect starter coaster for new thrill seekers. So, have you had the chance to ride Kentucky Fire? Let us know what you thought of the coaster in the comments below. And if you haven't, let us know if this coaster is on your bucket list to ride in the future. Thank you for checking out my review of Kentucky Flyer. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to see more coaster reviews and theme park content. I'm Cullah Hale. Have a good one, guys.